Hey, this is Tino and welcome back to the channel. A few months ago, I did a video on the whole ham ice study MT2. And I was talking about the issue that I had with it. And today I want to do a follow up video and tell you what happened ever since. So one of the main issues that I had with it is that I wasn't able to lock my row access. And that's kind of hard balancing the, the gimbal. Once it's all balanced and everything, I wasn't able to get it like perfectly balanced like this. It's kind of tilt like this a little bit and I couldn't do anything about it. It's always like that. So that's also resolved. I'll show you later on how you can fine tune it after you're balancing to so make it perfectly balanced. And then the other issue that I have that there's no solution to with the AI tracking, I wasn't able to frame myself like per se at the corner of the frame, right? And if you do uh, frame yourself at the corner, the AI tracking kind of lose you easily. Do your best to keep yourself centered. Don't try to do anything fancy, like, you know, have yourself in the corner of the frame. Um, so that's, that's just that. There's no solution. Let's get back to what happened with the row access. It's mechanical. I have to send it back to them. One of the concerns that I expressed in the last video, currently I'm in Vietnam, and there was custom tax. And I have to pay almost $100. And I didn't want to go through that again. But Ho Ham, they found a way to able to ship it to me without custom, which is awesome. But there's another issue because of this. I found out that Vietnam doesn't allow us to send out electronic device outside the country. So I couldn't find a way to ship it to Ho Ham for a while until a friend of mine uh, heading back to the state to California. So I asked her to take it. Uh, to my sister, my sister mailed to Hoham in California. And once Hoham received it, then they pretty quickly shipped me in a replacement. And this is the replacement. It's the exact same thing. The row access didn't function properly. Instead of it not able to lock, this time it's not able to unlock fully. So there's tension on the motor. And if you use it for a bit and then the motor get hot, then they get that error 03 again. And so I contact Hoham, they arrange a Zoom call meeting with their tech guy, and then I show them what happened. And then they said they contact me through email again, and which they did after a few days, I think. And then they decided that they're going to replace me another one. But this time, because they know I have issues with shipping, they said, hey, go ahead and keep it until you get an opportunity to go back to the state. Then you ship back to us. In the meantime, we'll send you a, re a new one, which is this one. They tested it before they sent it out, and I received it. Everything was great. And I'm telling you right now, I love it. It's awesome. So let's get to the juicy part. How do you balance it, fine-tune it to perfectly balance? Do your basic balancing. And if you still have issue where it's not perfectly balanced, uh, what you want to do is set your gimbal on a, a level surface, power it up. You see there's a, this M button, long press the M button until the old... LED submenu pop up. Now we're not done yet, right? Once it pop up on the side here, you got the A and the B button. What you want to do? Press the B button. This menu pop up. This is the secret menu. Well, it's not really the secret menu, but Hoham make it so hard because people don't really know how to find it. But anyway, so once you get in there, you get to adjust your row access, your tilt your your pan all that you fine tune it to perfectly once you're done with that then you long press it again and you get back out the menu and you're done that's pretty much it so i'll put a link of the video on their website in the description just in case you want to take a look at it but you probably don't need it if you just follow what i just showed you you're gonna have your gimbal perfectly tuned perfectly balanced anyway if you enjoy the content uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it will help me out a lot, and I hope to see you in the next video.